Giza. Designer radiators and towel rail. This is a consumer information video exclusively about electric towel rails. It will answer these eight questions to fully educate both domestic end users and tradesmen. We have separate videos for central heating towel rails and for dual fuel towel rails, which run on both central heating and electric. So ensure you are watching the correct video. Hi, I'm Alex, director here at Giza. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, part of our dynamic sales team. Electric towel rails are ideal for bathrooms or utility rooms without central heating. They are standalone units connected to an electric supply. They contain a heating element which heats the solution inside, just like your kettle works. They don't consume a lot of power as they self-regulate with very short on and off cycles to maintain the heat. This means they are continually consuming energy. So let's answer some specific questions you may have. How do I calculate the required output? Firstly, we recommend using the highly advanced heat requirement calculator found on our website, geezer.co.uk. This uses the very latest user interface with slider bars. Simply select electric heating from the drop down at the top and you'll answer a series of questions about dimensions, wall types, window areas, etc. It will then give you the results in both watts and kilowatts. Electric heating is measured this way where 1 kilowatt equals 1000 watts. Secondly, you may want to work out the basic requirements in your head. You may be a tradesman on a job, etc. Simply allow 100 watts per square metre. So for a bathroom, 3 metres by 2 metres will be 6 square metres. So you would need a 600 watt electric towel rail. What's the difference between single heat and variable heat? OK, let's break this down. Single heat electric towel rails. This is the cheaper option of the two. It's operable only from the switch located in the fuse spur outside the bathroom. There's no power button on the element itself. You have no control of the temperature. These will regulate at a fixed internal operating temperature of approximately 65 degrees. However, this doesn't mean the surface temperature will be 65 degrees. Various factors, such as the volumetric capacity, surface area and material type will determine the surface temperature. Chrome rails insulate heat, so can get quite hot to the touch. We offer two styles of single heat elements, a chrome cap with a grey wire, or a white cap with a white wire. This is dependent on the colour of your chosen rail. Variable heat electric towel rails. So now, the more expensive option of the two. At around just £30 more in price, they are worth it for the extra features and benefits. On the round control head, at the bottom of the element, you'll find a power button, a pink temperature increase button and a blue temperature decrease button. You can select the desired internal operating temperature between 20 and 70 degrees across five incremental LED settings. If required, you can program this element to reduce the upper limit on the internal operating temperature. This will then work as a low surface temperature product. The LEDs will flash to denote the element is working up or down to your chosen temperature. Then the LEDs will turn static once that temperature is achieved. There is a two hour drying function button whereby pressed when off will run at your chosen temperature for two hours and then switch itself back off again. Or if pressed when on, it can run at a newly selected temperature for two hours. If you have children or this is going into a public space such as a hotel, we recommend you only choose variable heat electric tower rails for the safety aspect. We offer four different styles of variable heat elements. White with a white wire, black with a black wire, chrome with a grey wire, and matte silver with a grey wire. Again, the colour you supply is dependent on the colour of your chosen rail. So there you have it, single heat versus variable heat. Once you have chosen your rail on our website, you can easily switch between the single heat and variable heat versions to compare the images and prices. What type of heating solution do they contain? Traditionally, rails were filled with oil. However, modern techniques mean we can use a cleaner, more cost-effective water-based heating solution. Water is mixed with two solutions. Firstly, Fernox, rust inhibitor, which eliminates lime scale and is anti-corrosive to prevent rusting from within. 
Secondly, Furnox Boiler Noise Silencer, which prevents the bubbling sound generated from hot water, like from a kettle, for a quieter operation. Due to the volume of electric tow rails we sell here at Giza, we have dedicated electric preparation stations. These dispense the required amount of heating solution down from an overhead tank through these pressurised handguns into the rail. What accessories might I need? Everything you need is supplied. A filled and sealed rail, a heating element, and comprehensive double-sided A3 fitting instructions. However, we do offer additional accessory items you may wish to consider for ease of use. Firstly, we offer two kinds of timer. This is the standard timer, which has multiple options for your on-off periods. Or this is the combination timer and fuse spur in one. A fuse spur is the on-off switch your electrician will supply and you'll need one of these regardless. So this combined device saves having two units on the wall. Neither timer is IP rated for use in a bathroom, so must be fitted outside. Note, if switched off and then on again by the timer, the variable heat element will remember its temperature settings. Secondly, we offer a temperature control plate in white or chrome. This device gives you the functionality of controlling the temperature of a single heat element. This has often been retrofitted by customers who have found the room or surface temperature of single heat too hot. It also features the two hour drying function button. One advantage of a single heat element with a temperature control plate over having a variable heat element is you can have the controls located at eye level. This prevents the need to bend down to access the controls located on the head of the air variable heat element. The temperature control plate is IP rated, so can be fitted in the bathroom. Thirdly, we offer cable housing units, which are add-on accessories for the element, which cover the wire up to the entry point into the wall. These will require the wall to be troweled out and the remaining wire concealed within it. There will be no hanging wires anywhere for children to grab hold of. Available for the single heat element in metal, chrome and white, or for the variable heat element in matching plastic, white, black, matte silver and chrome. Fourth and finally, cover caps. These are neat little devices manufactured by Giza which cover up the blank and the bleed valve located on the top of the rail. Note, some of our products are supplied with these as standard, but for some they need to be purchased separately. You'll find all accessories in the expanding accessory sections found on the bottom right hand corner of any electric towel rail product page. These are all filtered depending on the product to show only accessories which are compatible with that particular rail. How do Giza calculate the heat outputs listed? The heat output listed against each of our towel rails is determined by the wattage of the element it is supplied with which have been accurately calculated and fully tested at our in-house facilities. We monitor the surface temperature and analyse heat distribution using digital thermometers and infrared heat images. If you need to replace a failed element in your own rail, look at its label for the wattage or locate the matching size rail we sell for the wattage you'll need. What is the installation process? Many people like to attempt their own DIY nowadays. Our strong advice is that you use a fully qualified electrician. Giza stipulates a 48 hour window to open your rail to check for any cosmetic damage and report this back to us. At the same time, we advise removing the double sided A3 fitting instructions we supply. When your electrician arrives, Physically hand these to them to ensure they follow each step as they might not have fitted a geezer electric towel rail before. The heating element will be supplied loose in the box, single heat in a bag and variable heat in a tube. Supplying loose protects the element in transit and allows you to choose which side of the rail to install the elements governed by the location of the electric supply or your walls etc. The electrician will turn the rail upside down and remove the left or right underside blank plug and insert the heating element into the bottom of the rail. Note, elements cannot be installed into the top as they will not function correctly. Heat rises, therefore the elements have to go at the bottom. Giza supply all its elements pre-fitted with PTFE tape, which helps ensure a watertight seal. The rail can now be fitted to the wall and connected to the electric supply. Remember, switches cannot be located in UK bathrooms, so your fuse spur, timer, our combination fuse spur and timer device will need to be located 
outside the bathroom. The single heat elements are supplied with a 1.2 meter length cable and the variable heat rails are supplied with a slightly longer 1.5 meter length cable. The electrician can extend the cable but it cannot be removed and replaced with a completely new wire. Now the most important part of installation is commissioning for thermal expansion. Solution will expand when heated and retract when cooled. Just like this sealed bottle, an electric towel rail is a sealed unit. Commissioning ensures you create the correct internal vacuum of solution to allow for this expansion and retraction. Before the rail is first switched on, the electrician must open the air vents located on top, turn anti-clockwise to open. Only now should the element be switched on. As it's heating up to full temperature, any excess air or solution which isn't required for the vacuum is being emitted through the open air vent. Once the rail is hot all over and all the LEDs on the element have turned static, if it's a variable heat element, the air vent can now be closed. Turn clockwise to close. Now, the correct internal vacuum has been created and will remain so for its lifetime unless the amount of solution ever changes, i.e. if it leaks. Caution, if the tower rail isn't commissioned for thermal expansion, excessive pressure could build up beneath the upper bleed valve or blank plug. As demonstrated here with this bottle, a buildup of pressure could potentially blow the blank plug or bleed valve out of the top and hot solution could scald a member of the household. On the instructions there is a section for the electrician to sign and date to confirm they have followed all instructions as your safeguard. This whole process should take less than one hour to complete. Are there any limitations where I can install and what does IP rating mean? UK wiring legislations state there are certain areas in the bathroom where electrical appliances should not be installed. This diagram splits the important parts of the bathroom into three different zones. Zone zero is the area inside the bath, shower or sink, so obviously it cannot go in there. Zone one is the area directly above the bath, you cannot install there. Zone two is the area next to the bath or sink, you can install here. The remainder of the bathroom is zone three, so fully away from water, you can install here. To put this in context, as you can see, this rail has been hazardously installed directly above the bath in zone 1. This is a risk, as if someone slipped in the bath, they will grab hold of this rail and potentially pull it into the bath water and electrocute themselves. Central heating towel rails are fine to be installed here, but not electric or dual fuel towel rails due to the electric running through these types. In contrast to before, this electric towel rail has been installed safely in Zone 1, where it isn't above any areas of water. In terms of safety with water, an electrical appliance in the bathroom must have an appropriate IP rating. This stands for Ingress Protection. All geyser heating elements are IP54 rated or higher, which means they are protected from splashed water, so safe in the bathroom. What's the overall lifetime and likelihood of faults? Your element will last for many years, but just like the element in your kettle, heavy sustained daily usage will shorten its lifetime. Normally it will simply stop working and you'll know it's reached the end of its life. Elements are easily replaced. The heating elements are all guaranteed for two years. The rail itself will have its own separate guarantee from the element, which is normal between five and 25 years, dependent on the model. The instruction supplied contains an aftercare and FAQ section which details troubleshooting tips and what is and isn't covered by the manufacturer's guarantee. The after sales team at Giza are all expertly trained and can easily help diagnose a fault and remedy the issue quickly for you should you have one. If installed correctly, as per these fitting instructions we supply, your electric towel rail should never develop a fault. Now you know all you need to know to make an informed decision by purchasing an electric towel rail for your kitchen, bathroom or utility room. We hope you have found this as part of our series of technical information videos helpful and thank you for watching. Geezer Radiators, a hot spring of designer heating ideas.